have called the Trump administration's uh, anti-life actions, quote, incredibly exciting. Uh, what's your reaction to the president's uh, remarks this morning? It, it was it was a very interesting speech. Um, he didn't specifically mention the pro-life issues, but hey, we didn't frankly uh, elect him to be a pro-life spokesperson. We elected him to bring pro-life solutions, and we've seen very generous pro-life solutions and a lot of support for the March for Life in the first 33 days of this administration. But it was an interesting and very energetic speech, and he he made a few more subtle comments, comments about American values, for example, and of course we know that eight out of ten Americans would limit a abortion at most the first three months of pregnancy, and that's not the law of the land in the United States now. So um, talked about keeping promises. He's, he's done some great pro-life work in his first 33 days in his administration, including um, putting, of course, uh, Neil, uh, nominating Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court. So, so some good things, some good th so things for, in the speech. So for uh, um, uh, anti-abortion activists, is the nomination of Neil Gorsuch the biggest thing that the federal government can do or the executive or the president can do? In other words, many of the things that have been happening on uh, the abortion front have taken place at states. Uh, what is it that you want the president to do? Well, yes, uh, for starters, that the Supreme Court was enormously important. We know from exit polling that many Americans came and voted for Trump because of the Supreme Court and because of the life issues and the social, issue, social issues. Now, there is something else, though. He mentioned the health care law and Obamacare and the repeal and replace plan. We haven't heard anything from the White House about pro-life protections in the replace plan, so we are concerned about that because, of course, Obamacare expanded abortion um, almost, you know, more than anything really since Roe versus Wade. So that's that's a major concern for us. We've heard folks on Capitol Hill talking about putting in specific pro-life protections into the replace plan, but we haven't heard the White House on this yet. They've what, been what silent. What specifically do you mean? What, what well, sorts there's, of protections? there's talk of tax credits for, for abortion, and so there needs to be specific pro-life protection language included in the plan, and, and the White House has been silent on that. So that's something, he spoke a lot about the health care plan today and a lot about repeal and replace, but that's something that pro-lifers uh, feel very strongly about. And one thing I was just talking to Casey about is that there are a lot of movement conservatives uh, who, who didn't really regard uh, Donald Trump even a year ago uh, as conservative. He did sure. during the campaign talk about not wanting to cut funding to Planned Parenthood, largely because of other things, other work that Planned Parenthood does for, for women's health. Is there anything about Donald Trump right now that worries you, given your main issue? Well, just real quickly on, on the Planned Parenthood thing, I mean, what we're talking about there, frankly, is redirecting money to uh, to community health care providers that, that provide a holistic women's health. And there are 20, 20 times more of these clinics than there are abortion clinics. Planned Parenthood, of course, is our nation's largest abortion provider, and they get almost half of their billion dollar budget in government funding and so um, so that is one of the promises that that Trump made to pro-life leaders that he would enact into law a redirection of funding for Planned Parenthood as long as they continue to do abortion so we're happy with that but in terms of our biggest concern right now it would really be the health care and, and making sure that the replace plan includes pro-life protections. All right. Uh, Jay hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.